guys so i got back not quite long i had to go to a store to look for sneakers but i was not getting what i wanted so i'm going to order online i'm always skeptical when it comes to ordering for sneakers online because of the size since i have a measuring tape i might just um, make use of um, the measuring tape and then check the size charts on the page and for this lecture that i had today i'm not going to be having the lecture next week so instead of going for the lecture next week we are going to be working on our presentation so when i came in september i was having just one lecture and the lectures i go on wednesday i go on fridays and the lecture is just for one hour 30 minutes but this october is like choked up but still it's not that choked up um, my classes are every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Fridays. Um, but as from next week, my classes are going to be like four days in a week, three days in a week, I think, like that. I'm having another lecture tomorrow. I need to check my timetable. Even though I'm having lectures every day, my lectures are not that choked up. The only problem I have is that I need to wake up early since all my lectures are in the morning. I think it's only one day that I'm having my lecture starting from 12.30, but I'm pretty okay with the way my schedule is. And moreover, this is the last semester, so we need to push through and get this degree. See you guys tomorrow, maybe or later today. <laughs> and i need to make um shawarma real quick so i can eat that before dinner i'm going to show you guys how my um cabbage looks like this is how i peel my cabbage so this is not the size of the cabbage that i bought as you can see this is not the size but it's the way i peel it so i just peel out the layers i don't cut it because i know i won't use it like once and if i should cut it open it gets spoiled faster but this way i've been able to like use it over and over and it's still fresh so i just peel out what i need so i just peel out the quantity that i need for my wrap or if i want to make post low anything i want to make with cabbage anyways so i just peel out what i need this is going to be enough for what i want to do and then i just put this back in the bowl that it is so i just keep this at room temperature and nothing is going to happen to it so this is how i store my cabbage this is how i use my cabbage because you cannot be wasting money in this economy you cannot be wasting money then when the cabbage is reduced like a small bit that i know that i can use like once or maybe twice then i can now cut it but as it is now it's going to remain fresh like this till i finish using it the carrot i just leave it like this in the bag and then i put it in the fridge so it stays fresh to like exhaust it so i don't buy like a lot i don't buy too much at once so i may buy veggies that is going to last me for like two weeks and even though i'm not buying like um a lot at once i still need to keep it fresh so that anytime i want to use it i'm always eating fresh veggies my shawarma is ready i also have some yogurt here so i mixed greek yogurt together with um, strawberry flavored yogurt so Hi.
just finished from class and I'm waiting for my bus. I want to get to the grocery store to pick few things and afterwards I'll go to my hostel. I think my bus is already coming like look at the leaves. Everything is already yellow. All the leaves are turned yellow. That's the bus going, but I think my own bus is coming now. Bye! like bread what else milk just basic stuff and i'm going to be having a test next week so for the test it's going to be a multiple choice test and also a theory test for the course that i had today i'm also having a lecture tomorrow i was given a tax for the lecture tomorrow i think i'm going to show you guys like what the tax looks like or maybe i will not I don't know yet but first i need to wash my hands so that i can unpack what i got from the store so that's just basic etiquette always wash your hands when you're just coming from outside i studied microbiology as an undergrad so right now i need to sort out the things that i got from the store and then i'm going to prepare lunch I do not buy much stuff. I only bought bread, biscuits. For bread, I bought biscuits. I got yogurt. And then I got milk. I got pasteurized milk. This mink needs to be in the fridge so that it doesn't get spoiled. I bought carrots and um, I also bought sponge for my plate. So you need to change your sponge regularly. I'm going to be teaching you guys some etiquette tips. <laughs> you need to change your sponge regularly. So that was why I got this sponge and it is five in one. And I bought rice. This particular store that I went to, not even just this store, like there are a lot of rice. They have this type of rice that if you are not careful, the rice is going to get mashed up. But as for the Nigerian girl that I am, I don't eat mashed rice. I'm not eating sushi, so I don't need my rice to be mashed together. I need the one that will stay separate. So I have to get this one. I got this one the first time I came. But when I went to the store, because I ordered online, I bought this one. But when I got to the store, the last time I went to the store, actually, I didn't find this type. So I had to buy another one. So <clears throat> I don't know, it's like I'm getting a cold. And I also want to put this out there. If you peradventure send me a message on Instagram, um, I would appreciate if you can just go directly to why you're sending me a message instead of sending i hello and then you go offline this is instagram i'm not like always available on instagram instagram is not like whatsapp that i use normally every day for conversations so i would appreciate if anytime you add like send me message on instagram if you have a question for example just go straight to the point and it doesn't have to be um, just when you send me a message on Instagram. I mean, if you're sending a message to any stranger on Instagram, just go directly to the point. Go straight to the point. A lot of people don't even make use of Instagram to, like, chat. The chat on Instagram is not something that the flow goes, like, very smoothly as compared to WhatsApp. So anytime you send me a message on Instagram, please just go straight to the point. Write your hello full stop and write the context of the message. 
don't write hello and then disappear because if you write hello and then disappear i may see your message maybe after one week and then by the time i reply hi and then maybe after one week you also saw the hi you you, you reply to the hi and then maybe after one month maybe that's when i'm going to see your message i'm just saying but i think it's just um basic etiquette whenever you're sending a message to a stranger um hello i i know you want to greet the person that's fine then type your message immediately and that's it even if you don't greet me hello and you send your message if i have um answer to your question trust me i'm going to reply i'm not going to take offense because of that there are some things that back in africa we really don't appreciate it because we have it like the sun <laughs> right now we are in the season where if you see just if you just see a ray of sun you will be happy like anytime i see a ray of sun i'm always happy as if someone just did something so big and we are too taking this course but the other student does not come on wednesday so i'll be the only one attending the lecture today though for some days now he has been absent hopefully he joins us on friday but either ways i've been okay attending the lectures only i mean it's weird when you're the only person the lecturer is taking but yeah we are i'm going to be fine and yeah I look forward to today's lecture. Bye, guys. is going to be short because my hands are freezing and when you notice people putting their hands in the pocket of their jacket in this type of country it's just common sense because you have to protect your hand and it's going to get worse it's not a cause because it's going to get colder and by that time people start wearing their gloves but because it's bearable now most people are not putting on their gloves right now so hi guys um so class was good today today we discussed um some risk factors that contribute to obesity and one of the risk factor is um education level so people that are well educated they have high tendency of being obese because when you are well educated you have high tendencies of you have high tendencies of getting a better job and better job comes with better pay and when you are paid well you have the money to buy junks you have the money to buy ready-made meals you have the money to buy unhealthy food as compared to someone that does not earn much and they rely on homemade meals because it is cheaper so that's just the brief explanation on that and this does not mean that when you are well educated automatically you are going to be obese it's just a tendency but another thing that i loved in today's lecture was that um we cannot categorize food into healthy food or unhealthy food so it depends on how much you eat the food it depends on how regularly you eat the food so for example carrots can be healthy and it can also be unhealthy and pizza for example we look at pizza as an unhealthy food or pizza can be healthy if you make it at home and you include lots of veggies as your toppings and you make use of chicken or other healthy proteins instead of using sausages so that is why anytime i make my shawarma i don't make use of sausage i prefer using either chicken or using turkey and then i have veggies in my wrap chocolate also can be healthy and it can be unhealthy so you can opt in for dark chocolate and i actually love eating dark chocolate anytime i want to eat chocolate because i don't like sugary things on your norms so 
dark chocolate as bitter taste another example is apple we always hear this saying that an apple a day keeps you away from the doctor but if you eat too much of apples you are taking in too much of sugar and we know sugar is not good for our health so everything when it comes to eating is balanced so you need to balance whatever it is you are eating um, there are some food that you should not eat regularly so, so it's okay if you want to eat french fries and burger but it should be something that you eat once in a while not something that you eat regularly for example i like eating cake and ice cream like a combination of cake and ice cream but you're not going to see me eating cake and ice cream on a regular day so it's just something that i do like once in a while and when you crave for something for example when you crave for chocolate you should actually eat that chocolate if you are the type that is not something that you like every day you are not always craving for chocolate but once in a while when you crave for chocolate it's okay that at that moment just eat a bit of that chocolate because when you try to suppress this craving for so long and you eventually get hold of chocolate you are going to overeat that chocolate so, so i'm going to say this last when it comes to water we are always told drink so 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 liters of water in a day yeah these are good recommendations but water should be something that you drink regularly throughout the day because if you have this mindset that i need to drink two liters of water in a day so if you do not drink water let's say in the morning water in the morning you do not drink water in the afternoon and because you already have this mindset that i must drink two liters of water every day so at night you just grab two liters of water and you want to finish it at once that is wrong so it is important that you drink like water throughout your day don't wait until you are thirsty before you drink water so it's currently 1 30 pm and i need to take a nap so that when i wake up i would be able to concentrate and i'm going to set an alarm so that i don't oversleep because i need to get something reasonable done today by god's grace so my lecture for today is by 12 30 pm and today is going to be the last day of lecture for me for this particular week because my lecture for tomorrow has been cancelled and right now i need to make breakfast and just do some few things before it's time for me to catch my bus to my faculty so today i'm going to be having my lecture at my faculty and not at the palace so thank you so much guys for watching my videos the previous ones that i've uploaded thank you for the comment thank you for subscribing and if you are yet to subscribe kindly click on that subscribe button make sure you like the video like the video share the video and i'm going to see you guys some other time bye guys <music>